Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's senior night. Before we begin with introducing our Abington Greenway girls, I'd like to send a shout out to the captains of Bedford. Please join me in congratulating Senior Captain Cassie Morrison, Captain Alexia Stathakis, Charlotte Trifus, and Elena Sheff. Seniors, if you want to step forward, accept some flowers from the senior captains of the Green Wave. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for attending tonight's senior night. Coach Casey, the rest of the coaching staff, and all the underclassmen would like to express their gratitude to the seniors for their friendship and the bonds they have developed over the last four years. It is now our honor to introduce and recognize each of our senior Green Wave soccer players. Please welcome number six, Jillian Groom. And sisters Haley and Shannon. Joining her parents, Katie and Scott, and her siblings, Ava, Lily, and Charlie, please welcome number 10, Ella Williamson. Please welcome onto the field parents Lisa and Bruce Augusta and join me in congratulating number 13, Emily. <laughs> Now welcome onto the field, Mom Kim and Sister Emerson, and number 14, Avery McCann. <laughs> Please welcome Greenway Paul, Marjorie, ah, Grandfather sim, Jack, sim, sim. and Sisters Mackenzie and Charlotte, and number 23, Ashlyn Gardner. <laughs> Please welcome onto the field parents Laura and Matt and brother Colton for number 41, Valerie Drake. <laughs> Now please join us by welcoming onto the field parents Shayla and Hector and siblings Amani and Maddie for number 43. And now please welcome onto the field her parents Lauren and Bob and her brother Andrew, number 24, Captain Natalie Van Lee. <laughs> It was like, it was like a guy. They don't know who you're talking about. And last but certainly not least, welcome onto the field her parents, Shaheen and Rick, and sister Carly and Eve, number 47, Captain Hook. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Seniors can now join each other for a team photo. Abbott High School is very proud of this group of senior soccer players, and we thank them for their work ethic, their dedication and leadership, and all their hard work throughout their high school career. Congratulations to our seniors and their families, and thank you all for supporting Abington Green Wave Soccer. You got to follow the thing. Okay, baby. Okay, baby. Por isso ele nunca passa, né? Eu também. It's senior night here in Abington for the girls varsity soccer team. Ten seniors on this squad. Most of the seniors have been on the team for at least two seasons, some going into the third season. And uh, they were about to celebrate their first time, first trip to the state tournament in almost a decade. You heard uh, them recognize senior midfielder Jill Groom, senior forward Ella Williamson, Senior midfielder Emily Augusta, senior midfielder Avery McCann, senior defender Ashton Gardner, senior defender Natalie Van Luling, senior defender Hope Montgomery, senior midfielder Mallory Brink, and senior defender Brielle De Jesus. There's also uh, Tegan Kelly, who is a senior midfielder, not able to be here tonight. But 10 seniors total on this girls varsity team for Abington ready to play their last regular season home game. The team has made the tournament. They're waiting to find out who their first round opponent will be. They'll find that out on Wednesday. Currently ranked number 15 in MIAA Division 4. Currently sitting at a record of 9-7. and seven. Bedford is up in Division 2. They are ranked number 54 with a record of 1-15-1. Among the accomplishments of the senior team is that they brought home the Shoemaker Cup, which is given to the winner of the annual Robington, Ab excuse me, Robin Rockland Abington series, which is based on the total number of goals scored. And for the first time since 2015, the cup, the cup lives in Abington. It's going to be all the way down. There's nobody sitting because there's no place to sit. They can do it where they can. If they're all sitting up on the other side, even if it was, even if it was low, it would be down. Plus, I heard we were having a pasta party. Do you do house parties? Yes. Yes? Yes. About to kick off here in Abington. It's a rainy, drizzly night. It's been raining all day in Abington. It's a little bit of a drizzle. Going to be on and off. Hopefully stopping before the end of the game. It was raining a lot heavier early tonight when the boys' varsity team defeated rival Whitman Hanson 4-1.
We have to bring as much action as we can tonight. Unfortunately, because of the rain, uh, a lot of the fans are forced to stand with umbrellas. Going to block some of the shots down the sidelines, but we'll tell you what's happening from our perch high above the field. Abington to start with Jill Groom and David Williamson up top with Mallory Brink. Avery McCann, Ella Williamson holding the middle of the field. Emily Augusta out on the left. Ashlyn Gardner. Hope Montgomery, Natalie Van Luling. It looks like Riley Nolan playing back on D. They got back Braille DeJesus out on the left on defense. Avery McCann playing the ball back to Hope Montgomery to start the attack for the green wave. Bedford's not somebody Abington has played much in recent years. They're not in the league. They're up uh, out in the Metro West area. Question how this Division Two versus Division Four matchup will go, even though the Bedford has a doesn't have a particularly strong, particularly strong. Uh, results. The fact they're playing a lot of larger, tougher schools might play a difference. <laughs> Bedford looking to go down the right sideline. It's taken away by Emily Augusta on the left. Quick heel pass down to Augusta. She's looking to feed Groom. Going to be a throw in for Abington down deep in their attacking zone. Bedford able to clear it out. Really, Hazes holds up. Let's Bedford take possession. Played back into the middle. A little too far ahead. Green Wave defense able to step up, clear it out. Hope Montgomery comes, plays it up. Turn back over to Bedford. Kicks it back into Green Wave defense. Very narrow field so far, basically playing from the 40 to the 40. One of the teams looking to stretch us out, get some space. Bedford looking to play it up to the middle. Their striker, Emma Dubrovsky, one of the four seniors on the Bedford team, taken away by Montgomery. Montgomery looks to feed it long. She's got Brink going down the right. The ball skips ahead, though. That's going to be one of the challenges tonight in this rainy night is the field's pretty, pretty slick. Any of those types of long passes, the ball is just going to skip right ahead. Williamson volleys it down the sideline for another throw in for Bedford. Bedford tries a hill pass, stuffed by Green Wave midfield. Switching fields over to the left for Augusta. Augusta tries to pop it through, she's fighting through it. Can't gain control. It's Ella Williamson out wide trying to force it back in. Montgomery steps up, she's being chased down from behind. She's got Brink out wide. Also sees Williamson in the middle. 
Out to Brink, back to Montgomery. Montgomery with a cross off Williamson's foot. She finds Groom wide open the middle. Groom to the side and goal. That's a quick goal for Jill Groom on senior night. Three and a half minutes into the game. Groom off the pass to Montgomery. He glanced off Williamson. Groom found herself wide open in front of the goal. One nothing green wave here in senior night. Three and a half minutes into the game. Last week, three of the four senior boys for the varsity team scored on senior night. So far, we've got one of the 10 for the girls team. I don't know if we'll have all 10. We'll see how many seniors can pot one to the last regular season home game here, in, here at the Abington High School. Through ball collected by Montgomery. She looks to pop it through, but loses it up on the far side. Natalie Van Luling able to step up. Knock it out, it's gonna be a corner kick. Number of Bedford players lined up on the left side. Long kick to the far side post, had a foot on it, but it skipped wide. for looking to put some pressure up top. All the way back to the defensive line. Groom's putting pressure on the Bedford defender. Switching fields, long pass in. Long low skipping pass in. Joyce handles it for a quick save. Those skipping balls sneak up on goalies really quickly. Joyce and her compatriot with Bedford is going to have to be ready. Bedford has their striker out wide, out in the middle, wide open. But the cross is deflected off and out of bounds. Green Wave defender slid over to cover. Bedford striker, but for a while she was wide open but not able to collect anything. Flick on attempt by Bedford, stuffed. Weak shot collected by Joyce. Joyce looking to perhaps switch field. Quick punt out to Williamson at the 40. Looking to feed Brink, go down the side. But gets it taken away. And Luling and Gardner trying to clear the ball out. Gardner with the throw down the sideline to Brink. Brink plays it down, gets muscled off the ball. Adam team to recover and stunt the attack. McCann up the middle, gets a little too far ahead. Long play down to the attacking zone by Bedford. Hate DeJesus is back there. A little jostling, but DeJesus guides it out of bounds for a corner kick. The last corner, Bedford almost got a foot on it to knock it into the far post, but it slid off. They're lining up on the back side of it again. Left footed kick coming in. Into the middle. Into a collection. Joyce able to knock it loose. Long kick coming, but it's got whistled dead. I was going to say there was a handball in that jostling right in front of the net, right in front of Joyce. Hope Montgomery is going to go down as one of the better defenders in program history with a long kick out. 
skips a little far ahead of Brink. Montgomery was the team's lone league all-star last year. So definitely be a league all-star again this year. Gardner will throw in down the line. Brick again getting muscled off the ball. Gardner tries to get in down to Groom, skips out. Bedford will take over, just shy of half field. Williamson putting some pressure on the Bedford defense, forces the ball out. Can't wait for Gardner to come up for the throw. Throw into Brink. Brink into the middle of the field. She's got Groom. Groom deflects it back into the middle. A little too far ahead for Augusta to come in from the left side. They believe him some of the challenge on the left. Better able to hold on to it and push the attack. De Jesus battling. Another through ball is going to be. Van Luling gets in the way, but gets defender attacker gets around it. She lobs into the middle. That ball is over the fence and into the woods. Bedford attacker turned the corner. Van Luling was able to put a good ball into the middle. But it was deflected. Second shot went over the fence. No, Abington's got a goal kick coming out. Ten minutes into the game here, one nothing Green Wave on senior night here at Abington High School. Good crowd standing out here in the rain to say goodbye to the senior girls, ten of them. We've uh, seen a lot with the program. They started a freshman in 2020. Molly Joyce, another save, long throw out. Deflected over to Brink. Finds Williamson. Give and go down to Brink. Brink puts it into the mill for Groom. Groom's got a couple on the far side of it, but loses control. Wins it back. She's got Augusta. Augusta to Groom. Groom finds Brink out wide again. Brink feeds it back into the middle. Williamson collects it. Another center ball from Williamson. Her sister is running onto her. Her sister Ava. Ella was running onto it, but gets knocked out. Abington finding some holes on the Bedford defense. <laughs> Throwing Green Wave down low. Volley in by De Jesus goes wide of the net. Bedford look to restart. You're watching this on Abington Community Access and Media, home of Green Wave Athletics. Be sure to check out the YouTube channel if you haven't already to find big repository of past Green Wave games going back several seasons. Bedford with the ball into the middle. Green Wave fighting to take it away. Bedford attacker loses her feet, but they're going to say it was a clean, clean, tough defense. Give a goal kick to Abington. Low kick out goes out of bounds. Abington's looking to string some passes. McCann into the middle. Got Groom up top. Groom fighting through some defenders. She emerges with it. Racing the ball upfield. Cuts back inside. She's Williamson with her. Williamson gets it tackled away, but McCann recovers. McCann pulls it back. Finds Brink out wide. Brink plays it back to Ashlyn Gardner, who loses it. Bedford back on the attack. Emma Dubrowski pushing it up. She's got a runner. 
But DeJesus is back. Can dishing it off the left-hand side with Augusta. She loses it. And Bedford able to recover. Broom putting some pressure on. Gardner able to recover. Dabrowski collecting, looking for help in the middle. Long ball to the to the cross side. She's got somebody there. So Van Luling's able to come back, help knock it out. Bedford's looked to convert a couple of quick attack counterattacks. Nothing successful yet. Still just one nothing Abington. 14 minutes into the first half. First round of substitutions. For Coach Kate Casey. Right. <laughs> Carly Agnew coming in, center defense, pushing the Van Dooling back out to the right. Agnew, one of multiple freshmen making a difference in the Green Wave team this year. Corner kick coming for Bedford. Lined up on the far side. Long left cross again. Off the crossbar, it looked like. And out of bounds. I'm going to say Joyce got a hand on it. Another corner kick for Bedford, number four. More moving to the front this time. Another curling kick. Joyce pucks it out. Abington able to clear. McCann chasing it down. Back into the middle where she has help. Here's Groom. Groom sees Brink running down the right. Brink's got space. She collects it. She's got Groom in the middle. She puts a shot on. Skips. Goalie collects it. Great run by Mallory Brink on senior night. Put a good cross on. She had two with her. <laughs> Brink also a standout tennis player in the spring. McKenna <laughs> Williamson back and forth. And Lulin coming up, put pressure on Dubrovsky, pushing her into the middle where this McCann's waiting for her. Ava Williamson able to step up and intercept the pass. It's got Augusta down there. Quick throw in for Abington. Plays the back long volley in. Be interesting to see how the ball skips throughout the night. Especially as players start to get a little bit more tired. Get in the middle of the attack, sees Brink out wide. Oh, skips just underneath her foot. Been playing so much this fall on warm, dry turf. Ball just wasn't where she expected it to be. Ben Luling with a head looking for McCann. Dabrowski collects, feeds it down into the middle. Hope oh, Montgomery circles back, cuts back into the middle, creates some space. Lots of space for her. Just looks long to groom up the middle. Bedford able to recollect the attack. Long lead pass down the right sideline. Bedford defender running onto it. Plays it back. Cross goes on the ground. Plays it back up top again. Center midfielder looking for a through ball. She finds it, but it's a little too far ahead. <laughs> 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 
Mallory Brink going to take a well-deserved break. Brenna Holly in for the green wave. Brenna Holly, a bit of an offensive spark plug for the girls' varsity team. Maximum effort at all time. There goes Holly here. Ball gets a little too far ahead. Or else she was looking to run. Bedford able to stay a little bit more in control. Bedford looking for some access. Every place they went, Green Wave defenders were stepping up. Out of bounds, Edmonton throw. Groom on the right side, on the left side now. Likes to play it back. It's too far away from her teammate. Bedford looking to push the attack. Dabrowski in the middle, calling for it. Long cross coming in. Montgomery steps up to knock it away. Green Wave can't quite clear it out. Brennan looking to push it out wide. Finds, leaves it a little too far behind for McCann. Montgomery back to collect it, looking upfield. Tries to pass along, it's deflected off the foot of the New Bedford, not the Bedford, the Bedford attacker. I'm gonna say, hold on a second, the ball came back out on the field. Groom coming in to help Montgomery. Plays it down long. It's going to get too far away. There's a great battle in the middle so far tonight between McCann and Ruby Brennan on New Bedford. Not Bedford, New Bedford. Two really talented center midfielders looking to control the action. Lots of skills. Keep an eye on that one. Bedford the ball out wide looking for a cross. Gets too far ahead. We have a goal kick coming out. Jill Groom taking a break. Freshman Zoe Slenka coming in. One of those five freshmen making an impact on the green wave this season. Long kick out by Montgomery. Slinker cutting back in the middle, long shot. Goes just wide. Williamson and Slanka down low looking to keep the pressure on. David Williamson steps up trying to keep it down. Riley Nolan in the game on the left. Looking to find with Slanka. Just gets a little wide. Long service ball up the middle from Bedford. Looking to push the attack. Carly Agnew out to win the ball down the sideline. Joyce with a quick save. Throws it out wide. She's got... She had Brenna Howley out there, but didn't quite make it all the way. 
23 minutes into the first half. Green Wave up 1-0 on goal by Jill Groom here in senior night. Long kick by Bedford collected easily by Joyce. Punt out collected by Bedford. Nothing happening. I say that it wasn't able to save it. Throw in with the green wave. Green wave have a lot of talent, not a lot of size being bumped around a little bit by tonight by some of the bigger players on Bedford. Low kick by Montgomery up the field to the left side. Glances off and Bedford defender gives Green Wave a throw in. This Lanka looks down the field towards Nolan. Nolan has speed, puts some pressure on it. Bedford kicks it out. Let's some regroup. Slanker another throw in. Into the middle, she had a cutting McCann. But not able to start anything. Still a light rain here in Abington. Making the ball skip like that, higher than it usually would. Lots of umbrellas blocking the sideline. I'm gonna get a timeout on the field for Bedford. Just under 15 minutes left here in the first half at Green Wave up one nothing on goal by Jill Groom. Six minutes in. Excuse me, three minutes in on senior night. Abington girls with 10 seniors leaving the program after this year. However, there was only one junior on the team. That's Scalia. That's Scalia Molly Joyce. Then after that, the team is filled with sophomores and freshmen. JV team also stocked with plenty of talent. Whole group of eighth graders coming up ready to play and contribute to the varsity program when they're allowed to next year. Gonna have a very good Green Wave varsity program for another couple of years to come. Rain's picking up a little bit here in Abington. The turf fields let them play more inclement weather than they normally would. Fields wet but not sloshy. Turf doesn't come up, but it is slippery. No puddles. Timeout over, just under 15 minutes left in the first half. Here on Abington Cable Ax Community Access. Abcam bringing you just about every Green Wave varsity game. Soccer, volleyball, football. Bedford going to start with the ball, about the 35-yard line. Quick throw back, Masanka putting pressure on, trying to keep the ball down. Ben Luling blocks the ball out to win it back for Abington. Flick over, Masanka's got it running down the right. Tries to cut back. 
tackled away. Going to give Abington a throw in down low. Very deep in the attacking zone. Slanka with a short throw. Sorry, I think that was Holly with a short throw. Can't look to play, gets bumped from behind. Jostles to keep possession. They're going to say direct kick for Abington. Hope Montgomery going to come on for direct kick on the 20-yard line. It's about 30 yards out from the net. She has about eight teammates on the left side. Montgomery with a good foot can reach that. Low kick in, skip in. Almost gobbles up the goal from Bedford. Agnew plays it back up, guys. Milanka up top. Over to the left where she has Nolan. Nolan beaten off the ball. Hits the brakes and hits reverse. Got herself some room. Looking across to the left, it's the side of the net. Nolan, who has a good left foot, had the shot for the cross. Nolan has some of the better footwork on the team. You saw it right there. Able to hit the break and hit reverse. Leave the defender in the dust pretty quickly. Again, the chop, try to get control, goes a little too far away. Ball bouncing through the middle. Carly steals it away, looks out wide to McCann. Bedford able to step up to regain control. Again, back to McCann. Williamson plays it behind her, creates some space to the left where she finds Nolan. Nolan making a run, but it's a little too far ahead. Green Wave attackers looking to create some space. The Bedford, no, Bedford. Bedford is on them pretty tight. Not giving them much room to make anything. JV team playing behind us. Nil-nil draw at the half against the Bedford JV team. one nothing here on the varsity field. Just under 11 minutes left to play in the half, first half. On an increasingly soggy senior night, Bedford looking to push the attack. Brenna Holly racing back to knock it away. Now the Van Luling pressing up. Cross skips away from Bedford attacker. Nolan pushes it back to her defender, now gets it back. Looks long up the field where she has Slanka waiting. Slanka collects, goes down the left. She sees Nolan, I mean, uh, Holly running down the right, but can't connect. Had Holly rolling down the right side. Getting up there fast for help. 
Bedford resetting the attack, passing up into the middle. Williamson out wide to Howley. Howley turns it around, bobbles. Looking down the field, sees Williamson again in the middle. Williamson chips it ahead. Skips forward a little too much. Greenwave looking to win the throw in. Gets possession back. Van Luling calls for the ball. Yep, a quick substitution. Jill Groom coming back in for Ella Williamson. Slanka collects it, turns the corner, tries to turn the corner on the Bedford and plays into the middle. Two Abington attackers run past it. Just couldn't stop quick enough to get a foot on it. Williamson turns around, pushes it back up. She sees Groom down to the right side and side into the corner. Groom cuts back in. Ball skips his head. Williamson tries a shot off the defender all the way back to Van Luling. Ball's out, a little too far. Green Wave gonna take over down near attacking end. Long throw to Mislenka. Turns the corner, but can't save it. Goes through the end line. Gonna get a goal kick for Bedford as they look to sub make a quick substitution. Kick out for Bedford, looking to start their attack. Sends it all the way back. Zoe Maslenka trying to chase it down. Forces the keeper to come out quickly. Definitely know what Bedford's looking to do. But they turn around quickly. You can say Bedford knocked. Bedford with a push to gain control. Turns it back over. Oh, Mike's called it offsides. I'm sorry. Offsides on Bedford. Kick by Montgomery goes to the left where she has Nolan. Nolan looks to put a move on, streak pass down the sideline. And say off Bedford, green wave throw. Looks back to Williamson, back to Nolan. Kick into the middle, bounces away. You have McCann putting pressure on. Bedford defender clears it out. Ball took a funky bounce, and Emerson and Avery McCann was right there to put some pressure on. She's running back in the middle again, off the keeper. Excuse me, off the side of the goal, the keeper right there. Avery's sister Emerson, not yet on the varsity program. Bedford able to win the ball back. Brennan looking to keep control but loses it. Back into the middle. Williamson trying to step up on it. Groom out to the right. Holly pushing the right collects it. Down into the towards the flag. Tries to put a cross on, hits the side of the net. But conditions making it hard to get good traction and good put good crosses out. Williamson wins that ball. 
Holly lets it cross through, wins it back, puts a shot back into the middle across the front of the goal. Nobody there for Green Wave. Another goal kick for Bedford. With almost four minutes left in the first half. Green Wave still holding a 1-0 lead. Looking to end their regular season with a win. Green Wave started the season hot. And then it's played an extended stretch of about 500 soccer. But they're still ranked number 15 in Division 4. We'll be hosting a tournament game later on this week. We'll find out exactly against two on Wednesday. Montgomery looking to push it out to the right. She sees Groom wide open down the right. She collects it. Oh, the ball gets away. Groom had lots of real estate. Just couldn't collect. Nolan looking to put pressure on. Forces the Bedford defender kick it out. Gonna give a give a direct kick to the Green Wave. Montgomery over for the. Sh to take it, to take the restart. Montgomery's got three on the right-hand side. Ball into the middle, Mislenka with a volley. Ball bounce, Mislenka was there, a left-footed volley, goes left of the goal. Nolan keeping the ball down in the attacking end. Pushes it forward, stops. Ball gets away, McCann able to recollect. Holly running over. Fending off some defense. Groom collects, gets it tackled away. Bedford clears it out. Under two minutes left in the half now. Been looting on Dabrowski. Tackles it away. Over to Brendan in the middle. Dabrowski with a ball looking for her forward. But it bounces through. Ashlyn Gardner able to play it out to the, the, the sideline. Bedford trying to win it back. Another scoring chance before the end of the half. Throw in for Bedford on the far side. Sorry, they'll say corner kick. Incoming kick from the lefty. She's got people in front of the goal. Curls in, Joyce out to poke it away. It's Lanka trying to chase it down, starting a quick counter attack. She's got it. Def Bedford defender backpedaling, out to Groom out wide. Groom pushing it up. Puts a stutter step on. Bedford defender comes through, the tackle and knocking Groom out over there in the process. The um, crowd wants a call in the box, but they're not going to get it. Quick counter attack by the Green Wave there. Miss Lanka coming back, winning the ball and pushing it all the way up. And there's halftime here in Abington. 1 0 Green Wave. We'll be back for the second half in a few moments. Second half about to start here in Abington. Green Wave girls varsity up one nothing at the half. Jill Groom scoring three minutes into the game. Since then it's been pretty well locked tight. Thank you. 
Edmonton looking for their 10th win on the season. Ranked number five in D4 girls soccer. Bedford looking for their second win of the season, but they're up in D2. They're going to save. Bedford attacker pulled down the green wave defender down in the corner. Reading pretty good here in Abington. That's why you see all the umbrellas. Nobody able to sit on the wet bleachers. This is senior night for Abington. Green Wave graduating 10 varsity players this year. Midfielder Jill Groom, forward Ella Williamson. Midfielder Emily Augusta, midfielder Avery McCann, defender Ashlyn Gardner, midfielder Tegan Kelly. Defender Nellie Van Luling, defender Hope Montgomery, midfielder Mallory Brink, defender Brielle De Jesus. Ten seniors on this talented Abington team, ready to make their first tournament tournament appearance in a decade. We'll find out Wednesday who their first round opponent will be. Likely be here in Abington. Hope Montgomery looking long. Cross coming over, defended. Green Wave starting with Jill Groom, Brenna Holly up top. Ella Williamson, Avery McCann, Riley Nolan, Ava Williamson in the middle. Corner kick coming in for Bedford. Bedford gets ahead on it. They're going to say there was a shove in there. Or interference on the goalie, perhaps. Ashton Gardner, Carly Agnew, Hope Montgomery, Natalie Van Luling on defense. The only gets knocked down, jumps back up to tackle. Jill Groom putting pressure, wins it away, gets it taken back. Ashton Gardner able to clear it out well ahead of the Abington attack, though. Teams looking to win possession in the middle. Players got tangled up. Coming back for it. Lauren Gardner to get it. Groom settles. It's a little too far away. Montgomery steps up, wins it back. So Groom looking to settle. Brenna Howley pulls it back. Has Nolan down the left side. Nolan the lefty puts a cross on. Into the arms of the Bedford keeper. Plays it out quickly. Bedford looking for a counter attack. Brennan plays leaves it up, but into the Carly Agnew. Montgomery able to pick off the through ball. Gardner with a throw in down to Nolan. Nolan looking to cut back in, has it taken away. Gardner fights for it. They're going to say out of bounds. Quick throw in off over to, New Bedf oh, to Bedford. Brennan looking to switch the fields. Choice comes out, skips. Uh oh. 
Still no one with possession of it. Bedford looking to keep the attack, but it's broken up by a green wave. Ball skipped on Joyce there. There was two Bedford attackers right in the vicinity, but they both ended up in a heap in front of the goal. Dangerous situation there, but stays 1-0 green wave. Another cross from Bedford out wide. Nolan looks to turn the corner. She finds, tries, looks for new Groom. Bay for the quick counterattack over to the far side. Nudged off the ball by the Abington defender. Played ahead to Nolan, but too far ahead. Wetfield has the ball skipping. Official telling fans to back up off the line. Give the players some space. Flick on to Bedford, nobody there. Long run across from the other Bedford attacker. Ball rolls out harmlessly. Got a goal kick here for the Green Wave. Seven and a half minutes in the first half, second half. Hope Montgomery to clear it out. Long kick. Williamson lets it go through. Played out to Groom. Groom looks to put it through to Howley. Back to Groom. She's got him in the middle. Got Williamson in the middle. Williamson looking out wide. Brennan Howley trying to keep control. Put a burst of speed down the corner. He's got to pull it back. Loses control, but having to remain possession. Avery McCann with it, puts a left foot onto it. Nobody freight in front of the middle. Groom is out wide. Williamson up to Nolan. Nolan looking out to Groom. Groom down to the corner. Cuts back. Right foot across goes short. <laughs> Looks like Abington playing Riley Nolan up top. He's usually playing in the midfield. Jill Groom out in the left, where Nolan usually is. Groom putting pressure. The Bedford attacker turns quick and clears it out. Right to Agnew. Agnew looks for Gardner and tries to keep it in. Carly back. Bedford keeps it in. Agnew able to poke it away, but right into the middle of the field. Average defense able to cluster. And Ball played out wide. They're going to say offsides on the Bedford attack. Green Wave defense playing strong as usual. Not giving the Bitford attack much room to work. Gardner trying to body off the ball. Staying with her. Cutting in. She's looking for a cross, but into the net. Bitford attacker is able to turn the corner on her and angle in, but not able to put a solid cross. And even if she did, her teammates were well covered in the middle. Long kick out by Montgomery to the Bedford midfield. Plays it to the left outside. Williamson able to knock it away. Groom back to help on defense. Let's her ball run out. Still raining here in Abington. The good news is it's getting colder now.
ball coming out for a goal kick from Green Wave. Montgomery, another long kick up. Abington midfield there this time, but still can't win the ball. Williamson almost pulls it away. Bedford crossing it back into the middle. Van Luling challenges. Quick shot in on Joyce off the post. Joyce had the angle played right, just right. Ball hit the post, but for a corner kick, didn't bounce back into the play of field. Field of play. Green Wave letting Bedford connect on some passes. Keep possession. Bedford very much in charge. Second half more than the Green Wave so far. Long cross into the middle. That's a goal for Bedford off the cro corner. Bedford's had a number of chances off corners. A couple of them close and this time they're able to connect. It's 1-1. Abington versus Bedford. Nolan's swapped out from Maslanka. Room looking to push the attack. Slank up, cuts it back. Pushes it through. Too close to the keeper. 28 minutes left in the game, 1-1. McCann wins it in the midfield. Slanker back towards the goal, is able to turn. Feeds Groom down the left. Groom looking to cut back in. Find someone. Foot race. The keeper able to poke it away. Quick counter attack by Bedford. Van Luling there to put pressure on it. Montgomery also back to help. And Agnew. They're going to flag the offsides on Bedford. Looks like Van Luling a little slow to get back up. Quick break while she gets looked at. 27 minutes left here in the game. 1-1 one, one tied score. And Luling hobbling off. You're watching the game on Abington Community Access Media, home of Green Wave Athletics. Be sure to watch all Abington postseason play here on Abington Cam. Call was offsides, just shy of the 18. Montgomery going to start it back up. Kick up to the midfield. Bedford able to win another kick. Key possession. Kick in from Bedford. Low skips Molly Joyce to flex out of bounds. We have another corner kick coming in for Bedford. This is really where they've been dangerous tonight. Put a number of chances right into the middle. They have a bunch of attackers up there. 
Last one was successful and tied the game up. Hope Montgomery keeping the attacker away from Molly Joyce this time. Here comes the cross. Skips through. For a goal kick on Abington. Gardner with the pass up the field. Finds Williamson, Williamson over to McCann in the middle. McCann up to Williamson. Both Williamson's trying to keep possession. Holly chasing the ball back down. Agnew tracking it. Deep into the corner. Bifford able to put a cross on, but fed up. McCann plays it up. One by Bedford. Both teams exchanging possession. Williamson with it now. Williamson has options. Miss Lanka now looks to turn the corner. Runs past it. Gardner with a long ball up. Had Groom out on the left. Greenway aren't able to make a sustained attack. Bedford able to running back, long through ball. Agnew's there to collect it easily. Cut back inside, retains possession, looking to push it back up for a counterattack. Plays it up. Duke Bedford regains control. Tackled away by Williamson. Over to Groom. Groom sees Ella Williamson. Aver McCann pushing it up. She's got a step on the, the defender. Out wide to Williamson. Williamson looking for a cross. Just off the crossbar. Groom able to keep it in. Still has defender, uh, has attackers down in the area. Miss Lanka back out to Williamson. Ella Williamson up top. Turns a quick shot. Collected by the Bedford keeper. Longest sustained attack from the... Quite a few minutes from the green wave. Williamson with a cross off the crossbar. Green wave regaining control. Pushes it through to Miss Lanker, trying to beat the defender. Knocks it over, pokes it through. Just wide. Miss Lanka charged it, put a foot on it. Everybody watched slowly as the ball rang forward because the goalie was down, but it was just a little bit wide. Greenway putting pressure here, second half, 23 minutes left in the game. Greenway periodically been able to find some pretty big holes in the defense. Bedford looking to push the attack. Agnew there. Knocks the ball out. Gives Bedford a throw in, but allows the Green Wave defense to come all the way back. JV game behind us ends up in a 1 0 win for the Bedford JV team. Green Wave wins the throw. But Montgomery pushing it up. He's got Ms. Lanka out wide. Looks to leave him. Trying to lead Williamson. Bit for keeper able to come out and collect. Ball played through. Green Wave defense back. It's DeJesus back to challenge. Alongside Montgomery. Oh. 
Throw for the green wave. Glances off Bedford. Takes a few steps up. Abington getting beaten to the ball. A number of restarts. Montgomery recovers. Starts the attack up to Groom. Groom with plenty of room. Forced out wide. Looking to cut back in. She finds Williamson up top. Williamson turns and kicks. Shot is wide. Grimm got stuck down in the corner. Finally able to make a cross over to Williamson. Williamson made a turn. Groom out, Nolan in on the left. Gardner they're putting in pressure. Pushes them out wide. Off her foot, knocks it out. Throw in four. Bedford quick restart. Flick on into the middle. Nice individual defense there by Gardner using her body to keep the Bedford attacker away. Along with teammate to collect it. Mislanka down the line. She's got Ms. Williamson running. Williamson cuts back in. She's looking out wide. Cross comes in. Gets a bit, little bit away from the Bedford keeper. Be able to recover. Nineteen minutes left here in the Abington one one tie against Bedford. Green Waves turned it up in the last couple of minutes, putting additional pressure on the Bedford defense and keeper. Williamson putting pressure there in the midfield, not making it easy for them to turn, start the attack. Williamson stepping up again. Bedford back into the teeth of the Abington defense. Agnew down to Mislenka. Mislenka sees Nolan running. Bedford defender comes across to keep Nolan away from winning that. Mislenka down to Nolan again down the left side. Nolan has a good left foot. Looks to cut back with her right. Wide open to Williamson in front of the goal. Goal! Ella Williamson on the goal to give the Green Wave 2-1 lead. Just under 18 minutes left in the game on senior night. Celia Williamson with the 63 minute. Give the green wave 2-1 lead. Nolan pushed the ball down into the corner. Cut back inside, gave her a right-handed pass and Williamson found herself wide open in the middle. Rifled it past Bedford Keeper. It's been, been steady all night. Ball down deep. The bid for attacking zone. Bid for the throw in. Slanko with a flick up. 
looking, Abington looking to break out the attack. Big difference the last few minutes of the Green Wave has been putting pressure on those restarts, the throw-ins and the goal kicks, winning them in the middle of the field. Bedford definitely had that advantage earlier in the second half. Slanka looking to run through. She sees Nolan, but she's off. Nolan had a couple steps. But that's the right idea. Slanka let that pass go right to her attacking side. Bradley Nolan with a turn, pushing it up, has Mislanka. Mislanka pushing, pulls the ball through. Defense is there, Williamson coming on strong. Williamson volleys it into the center of the field. Holly coming on, try to play it. Ball shanks off the Bedford defender. Gonna give Abington a corner. 15.30 left in the game. Cross coming in for Abington. There's a volley in there, I think, by McCann. But then the follow-up. A little too much contact. They're going to call it back out for Bedford. Ball placed inside the six. We're going to get a quick timeout, it looks like. Just under 15 minutes left in the game. 2-1 Abington lead over Bedford. Green Wave looking to end their game, end their season with their 10th win of the year. A chilly, drizzly night has turned into a cold, rainy night. Might not be sleep, but it's not far off. You're watching us on Abington Community Access Media, home of Green Wave Athletics. Quick search through YouTube, and you can find all sorts of Abington sports boys and girls soccer, football, volleyball. About to resume play here. Abington High School and Senior Night. Last home game of the season for the Green Wave. Their best season in a decade. Looking to finish it strong. They're up 2-1. Just under 15 minutes left. Green Wave has turned the pressure back on in later second half. Ava McCann looking to clear it through. Has Agnew out wide. Bedford Zabrowski comes roaring on to win it back. But Montgomery down low looking to let it run out but plays it up. Bedford looking to push the attack. Nolan cuts it back or fakes it back. There she cuts it back. Hidden behind the umbrellas. Plays it up to Mislanka. Let's it flip past. She's pushing forward, she's got a run in Williamson. Leads it for Williamson. Running hard, but too far ahead. Miss Lincoln Williamson working well in the second half. 
Nolan plays it down. Over to Williamson on the right. Williamson returned the favor. Mislanka wide open in the middle. Too far to the right. Nolan won that kick. Fed it to Williamson. Williamson looking to return the favor to Mislanka. Mislanka had it all alone. Bedford keeper came out to close down that angle. And uh, the shot went to the right. Goal kick coming up for Bedford is low. Right through Mislanka. Almost had another great quick opportunity. Williamson comes up to challenge. Over to the far side where Howley is. Holly in the middle, won by Bedford. Long cross, looking for Dubrovsky in the middle. Bedford all the way back, but Mislanka steps in front, looking for Nolan. Nolan plays it through, wins it. Playing tough, trying to regain possession. Nolan was a quick footstep away from being all alone in the middle. Nolan looking to win again, taken away by Bedford. Bedford playing it long. They have a runner up the middle. DeHaze is just there to come back though and help. Bedford throwing a lot of long balls for their forwards. Molly Joyce collects it in the face of a Attacker from Bedford. Keeps it 2-1, Abington. Nolan settles it, turns around, hits the brakes, reverses. She's got players looking up the field. Gardner the throw in, looking for Nolan. Gardner saw Mislanka, flicked it up ahead. Williamson comes across. She's got Holly in the middle. But across is short, collected by the goalie. Goalie looking to switch fields. Ball skips past to Jesus, but out of bounds. Bedford looking to turn it around. But one by Abington. Tim looking to go down the sideline. Cut back into the middle. Volleyed out by Montgomery. Montgomery finds Williamson. Tackled away by Bedford. Slanka turns. Let's the ball go through almost again. Not quite as successful this time. Holly looking to poke it up. She finds Williamson. Williamson gives it to Nolan. Coming down the left. Back into Miss Lank in the middle. Cuts back. The Bedford attacker is there. Nolan able to keep it in. Bedford getting a couple extra people back to counter the Abington attack. And just Abington's been able to find a couple holes throughout the evening. Boot out to the right side for the keeper, played by Gardner. Williamson tries to counter the midfielder, gets played past her. 
pushing the attack up. But Agnew's there. Brennan pulls another through ball into the attack. Montgomery and Agnew overlapped on that. Montgomery coming over to help out. Groom coming in to the left. Nolan going back to play right defense. Coach K. Casey likes the flexibility of some of her players, their ability to play in multiple positions. Nolan showing that tonight, playing both up top, midfield, and now on defense. Green Wave able to win the ball. Slanka chasing it down the right. Keeper comes way out to field it. Short punt played by Howley. Howley looking for Williamson down the right-hand side. Out of bounds for Bedford. They're going to say it went out on Williamson, giving, to Bed giving Bedford the throw in. The handball on that, they're going to get it. Handball in Bedford. Ending at Abington attack zone. On about the 40. Players starting to get cold out there. Montgomery on the just shy of the 40. Out far. Looking in the middle. Long, hard line drive kick. Skips ahead. Groom's up there. Can't get a foot on it. Ball hit the turf on the bounce and just kept skipping. Didn't check up. Sometimes it'll happen on a drier field. Biffick coming out. McCann putting pressure on the midfield. Gardner coming back. Green Wave defense are back in full. Bedford Stabrowski chugging down the sideline. Can't keep catch up to it. Flick on by Green Wave looking for Maslenka. Maslenka coming all the way back to put pressure on. McCann looking to push it up. Slant out to Holly. Holly steps over it. Looking to regain momentum. Tries to turn the corner. Gets away from her. Zanka looking to make a run down the right. Crosses it. Looked like it might have gone off a Bedford foot, but they're going to say no. Just a misfire. Short goal kick into the teeth of the midfield. Gardner putting it down long, flicked on by Bedford. The slank is there, looks to win it. They're going to give him the trip. We're getting a PK. Under five minutes to go in the game. Oh, they're gonna say it was outside the box. Just outside the box. Or is it? Can with a shot. 
saved by the Bedford keeper. Groom putting pressure on the left to win it back. To Gardner, Gardner chips it in. Slankler can put a head on it. Bedford trying to clear it out. It's 2-1 under five minutes to go. I'm gonna say Gardner came from behind. Give a restart to Bedford, long pass up. Greenway, by the way, has a defense back. Williamson challenges, gets beaten into the middle, but Greenwave has numbers there. Nolan steps up. Or Holly steps up, actually. Clears it out. All the way back to the Bedford defense. Throwing for Bedford. It's just a little bit of time left. 2-1, Green Wave. Ball skipping all over the place. Ashley Gardner putting pressure back to the defense. Long through ball in. Molly Joyce comes out to field it. Takes her time walking it up. Let's the team reset. Milk in the clock. McCann able to win the ball. Out wide to Williamson. Williamson has Holly out on the sideline. Green Wave retains possession. Having to go by Jill Groom and Ella Williamson tonight on senior night. Two seniors. Abington the restart, just shy of midfield. Hope Montgomery putting a long ball out. So has McCann in Groom. Bedford comes away with it, pushing the attack up. Carly Agnew steps up. Gardner down the sideline, step for step. Green Wave defense is back. Gardner pushes the ball out. Good bit of one-on-one -on -one defense there by Ashlyn Gardner, her final home game. Stays with her step for step. Doesn't get beaten. It's gonna be a corner kick for Bedford. Not much time left. Official's gonna talk about the jostling in front of the keeper. Put Montgomery trying to keep her away from Molly Joyce. Long cross coming in through the middle out to the far sideline. Bedford looking to get the attack. Stolen away by Williamson, long clear out. Bedford keeper is way out to play it. Green Wave trying to keep it down. Flick on by Bedford. Avery McCann clearing it out. Back into the middle of the attack. There it is. Abington comes away with a 2-1 victory here in senior night. Final regular season game, 2023 season. Finishing the season with 10 wins. Her best winning record in a decade. Goals by Jill Groom and Ella Williamson. Gives them the 2-1 win here on a rainy, cold night. Abington will find out their next opponent, first round of the MIAA tournament on Wednesday, where it is, it will be a home game, and we'll be back to cover it here on Abington Community Access Media, home of Green Wave Athletics.